Akita and barking, communication or nuisance. When it comes to owning a dog, barking is a behavior that cannot be avoided. It is a natural form of communication for dogs, but it can sometimes become a nuisance for both the owners and the neighbors. This article will explore the relationship between Akita dogs and barking and delve into whether barking can be considered a form of communication or simply a nuisance. The Akita dog breed is well known for their loyalty, strength, and independence. They are also known to be quite vocal. This breed originates from Japan and was initially bred for hunting large game, such as bears and boars. They were also used as guard dogs, so barking was essential to alert their owners of potential threats. Today, Akitas are commonly cherished as family dogs and pets. While barking is a natural behavior for any dog, Akitas tend to have a deeper, more resonant bark compared to other breeds. This characteristic makes their bark sound more intimidating and may be mistaken as aggression by those who are not familiar with the breed. However, it is important to note that barking is not necessarily indicative of aggression, but rather a means of communication. Akitas, like most dogs, use barking to express different emotions and needs. They may bark to alert their owners of perceived danger or strangers approaching their territory. This protective instinct is deeply ingrained in their DNA and is something that owners should appreciate and respect. Akitas may also bark when they are excited or when they want attention. This behavior is their way of expressing their emotions and trying to engage with their human companions. However, despite the communication aspect of barking, it can become a nuisance if it is excessive or continuous. Constant barking can disrupt the peace and tranquility of both the owner's household and the surrounding neighborhood. It can also strain the relationship between the owner and their Akita. It is essential for Akita owners to understand the reasons behind their dog's barking and address them accordingly. If the barking is due to boredom or lack of mental stimulation, providing appropriate toys and engaging in regular exercise can greatly reduce excessive barking. Ensuring that the Akita receives enough physical and mental stimulation is crucial to their overall well-being and can help curb excessive barking. Training is also a fundamental part of managing barking behavior. By teaching the Akita the quiet or stop barking command, owners can gain control over their dog's barking and encourage more desirable behavior. Positive reinforcement techniques, such as rewards and treats, can be effective in training the Akita to reduce barking. Additionally, socialization is crucial for Akitas to help them differentiate between legitimate threats and ordinary occurrences. Exposing them to various situations, people, and animals from an early age can help reduce fear or anxiety-based barking. This socialization process should be done gradually and in a controlled environment to ensure the safety and comfort of the Akita. It is important to note that barking is a natural behavior for dogs, and completely eliminating it may not be realistic or fair. However, it is possible to manage and reduce excessive barking through proper training, socialization, and providing adequate mental and physical stimulation. In conclusion, barking is indeed a form of communication for Akita dogs. It is their way of expressing their emotions, needs, and protecting their territory. However, excessive barking can become a nuisance if not properly addressed and managed. Akita owners should strive to understand the reasons behind their dog's barking and take appropriate measures to address them. By providing adequate mental and physical stimulation, training, and socialization, owners can ensure that their Akita communicates effectively without causing